Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to show you some uh, video snippets I took at the uh, Baltimore Nursery Trade Show last week. It's called Mance or the Mid-Atlantic Nursery Trade Show. Uh, a few weeks ago, I did uh, put up a, a couple videos uh, touring the um, Plant Development Services Incorporated greenhouses in South Alabama, and I showed you all the plants they had in that greenhouse that they were taking. Uh, to the trade shows during trade show season. A lot of effort goes into that, getting those things in the house and getting the uh, timing perfect on the flowers and, uh, and then being able to transport them all over the country to various trade shows during the uh, month of January and into February, uh, these trade shows uh, go on. So um, it's, it's really kind of interesting uh, how much effort actually goes into that. But I'm just gonna kind of talk you through a little, a uh, few uh, video snippets that I took um, from uh, from their space, from their spaces uh, at the trade show, and, and a couple other things. So, let's get uh, let's get started on that. Uh, the um, this is the uh, flowerwood uh, nursery uh, space right here um, at the trade show. Uh, they grow a tremendous amount of uh, the Southern Living Plant Collection and uh, Encore Azaleas at their place, and uh, it's a really nice booth that they had set up. Uh, for their stuff. Um, of course, there's Sunshine Ligustrum uh, in their space as well. And that's that olive martini Eliagnus that I planted in my yard. There's a Lamandra. I've got one of those on my front porch, that grass that's on the right there. And then just various other things uh, that are in the PDSI space for the Southern Living Plant Collection. This grape right here is called Rasmataz. That's really going to be an interesting introduction. I'll cover that this year. And uh, also the dwarf fig. I've got this video coming up on this dwarf fig that they're introducing uh, that I think is going to be really exciting. That's that Roman candle, Podocarpus. Uh, you guys saw video last week uh, I put up on that. And that's one of those Dianellas, uh, that thinner bladed Dianella. They had the white wedding hydrangeas there blooming when I was in Alabama, but they, the blooms didn't last to the trade show. This is Romeo and Juliet uh, Clara. I'm covering those pretty soon. This is that copper top viburnum. I put three of these in my yard. I think this is going to be a really, really super popular plant for screening. Really like that plant. That's Purple Daydream, Laura Petalum. Uh, I'm going to add a couple of those in my yard uh, or more uh, this spring. Uh, that's that Mojo Pittosporum. I don't have a tremendous amount of luck growing Pittosporum in my clay-based soil, but I planted three right here next to this porch green ones uh, last year, so I'm thinking that it drains well enough along this porch. I think I found the space, and I'm going to plant a couple of those Mojo Pittosporum um, on the other end of the porch uh, um, right here along my sidewalk this year. I think I've got a good space for them. They had a couple of the agapanthus in the space. That ever that white one right there I planted in my yard last year. They were quite beautiful. Uh, I'm going to stop this for just a second. You just saw that camellia with the pink flowers uh, right there. That one's called Early Wonder. And uh, Early Wonder is, uh, I should have brought one back from South Alabama while I was there. It's a camellia japonica, which normally blooms in January, February, March, uh, it, and can really be damaged by the ups and downs of the weather during that time of year. This is a super early blooming Camellia japonica. It actually blooms in the fall, and uh, really, really striking, really, really beautiful. They were blooming uh, over a month before this, and they were still able to bring them up there, and uh, still were loaded with blooms. I, I wish I had one, uh, but I'll, I'll get one this year. I think it's uh, that's really going to be a great plant. Um, because it's going to bloom at a time when I think the flowers are going to open up and not be as not be as badly damaged by late frost and that kind of thing. Uh, this white one is called Diana. Uh, it's really a beautiful plant. And then this one up at the top, I'll stop again. You see that red and white uh, variegated uh, camellia right there? That one's called Christmas Carol. Uh, it's also quite striking. I also wish I'd have brought one of those back as well because uh, uh, it's just kind of hard to uh, kind of hard to miss with a red and white uh, camellia that would be blooming around Christmas time. That's that Dragon Prince Cryptomeria uh, that we looked at in that video. Really, really nice little round evergreen ball there. There's a Miss Lemon Abelia looking great um, with all that bright yellow uh, foliage on it. And then here's that golden uh, Oakland Holly. I've got one right behind the camera um, on my front porch right now. Great plant. Uh, Encore Azaleas, this is a variety that's gonna be released next year really beautiful variegation right there and that purple one as well uh, also going to be released uh, next year they they had it on display for the growers to take a look at um, that's uh, autumn fire on the left and bonfire on the right uh, at that sign in full bloom they're really 
quite beautiful uh, in bloom. And uh, here's that uh, mood ring podocarpus right there. I've covered that a couple times. That's a, uh, that's a really beautiful upright narrow conifer. I gave a little talk to some growers in this space right here. And the uh, Pender Nursery was had my um, videos that I had shot at their place on a reel in their space at Mance. So that was kind of interesting to see. And this is their, uh, their display right here. Um, they had a very nice, uh, very nice setup driving all the way up there from the middle of North Carolina. And uh, right here, uh, this photo right here, this is uh, obviously me on the left. Uh, the woman that was in the center on that photo is uh, Linda Vodder. And if you haven't followed her Instagram account, she has an, um, a cr really, really beautiful garden in Oklahoma City. So that was my first time uh, meeting her. That was uh, interesting. The gentleman on the right, his name is Buddy Lee. He's actually the inventor of Encore Azaleas, and he's also involved in a lot of the other uh, uh, plant development for um, for the Southern Living Plant Collection as well. First time getting to meet him, and uh, so that was really nice. I had been told for a long time he's just a super guy, and he didn't disappoint. Uh, we we hit it off really quickly, and he invited me down to his place. So sometime this spring, I'm going to go down to uh, his little uh, toy shop and uh, show you guys um, things from his uh, plant breeding and trial uh, place. That should be uh, that should be pretty fun. It be, could be things that'll be released years and years later, or things that end up in the throwaway pile. Um, I saw his throwaway pile down in Alabama. His throwaway pile is nicer than a lot of the plants that you can buy today. Um, it's kind of amazing what doesn't make his cut, honestly. So again, I thought it would be interesting to show you guys how uh, all that material from that greenhouse in South Alabama made it to uh, Baltimore, and now it's in uh, other cities uh, as they uh, travel around and show these pieces off to uh, garden centers and landscapers and you know plant buyers you know from all over the world so thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming content